Hey guys, how's it going? I'm giving you guys a update on the balance revamp. Uh, doing a strategy with the immortal uh, rush. Now the change on this was uh, the robotic facility. It's actually uh, instead of 200 resource, 100 gas. Now it is uh, 150 resource and 100 gas. So it's actually just 50 50 minerals cheaper. Now at the bottom, I'm actually facing a Protoss player who's also ch testing things out. And uh, right away, I'm getting my pylon and my gateway while I send a probe to the bottom side of my opponent's base. Now on his side, he's getting a pylon, gateway, one gas, two gas. So we're both getting the gases at the same time, and we're both starting slightly the same, except he's scouting me, and I'm hiding in the bottom side of uh, the top of his base. Once my gases come up, put three on each right away. gateways up this is when we both get a cybernetics core now he has an opening where he can get out I'm actually closing it on my side that's only because I don't want a probe to come up and see if I'm doing anything I want him to assume that I might be doing numerous things in my base could be a DT could be Stargate not sure right so once the pylon's up, my cybernetic core is almost up. Then I instantly make two robos. Now on his side, he's getting a stalker and he's getting a warp gate. So he's using his gas for this as well as getting a robo one robo now here at the bottom I'm actually making a forge and this is just to make sure I contain this area in case he decides to send two stalkers or two adepts to my base uh, because I'm gonna be quite busy at the bottom side of the map stalkers busy killing the rock He's gathering a sentry, and I instantly make two, two immortals. And I followed up with a pylon right by his base. His immortal is going to be coming out soon. He's setting up to expand. Now, I'm going to expand, but I'm not going to expand in the same manner. But I don't expand right away. I always force a little aggression in the beginning of my games before I decide to take an expansion. Now, I quickly make a battery shield here, at the back of the base. Two immortals pop up. 30 mortal on the way, Prism is being chrono boosted, and now I'm able to pick up my immortals, send them here. Now I'm setting up to produce an energy zone, and that's so I can make battery shields right away without making a pylon first. Now as you can see this battery shield is actually protecting these immortals to be able to soften this army up while the 30 mortal is coming in and the battery shields are coming up now that I have my battery shields there's no way he can break this and he would lose his cybernetics core, a gateway and he will lose his more uh, robotics 
and that is because he decides to expand and utilize most of his resources there now he was planning to get speed upgrade and that way he can do a disruptor notice how he's gonna get a disruptor now what he was planning to do is go to my base with the drop and do a disruptor bust all my minerals that way I'm actually losing so much probe counts compared to his expansion the only problem with this is that because he's going for an expansion to go for the macro play I actually am a little more aggressive and stronger in my intro where his stalkers or zealots or immortal won't be able to contest with this strategic uh, attack.